Hi friends. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me tease about this, but Nate and I have purchased a property. We're still trying to decide if we want to turn it into a rental or if we want it to become um, a flip that we can then ultimately sell. But I said I would give you a sneak peek and here we go. So this is it in all of its glory as we purchased it. Got to back up a whole bunch. There we go. There she is, the Lisbon house. So you can see the roof really needs some love. We're gonna move that front door. I'll show you when we get inside. But it's not bad, it's a cute little, cute little house. Let's go look inside. I just mowed the lawn, I'm all sweaty. So we walk directly into the kitchen and living area. So that's the kitchen right there. The refrigerator, we just plugged it in and it was making the most demonic Mickey Mouse squeaking sound. But it's stopped now, so that's good. But yeah, cute little kitchen. So obviously the stove doesn't go there, it goes there. And we're gonna build a new island, pretty this up. And then this is the living area. Nice big window. So the front door, as I mentioned, we're gonna be taking that front door and moving it over this way. And there's a little closet right there that's just like really silly little thing. So we're gonna, okay, so my battery died. Let's try that again. <laughs> Hi. Living room area. And as we saw, kitchen. So over this way is the bathroom. It's a small bathroom. Really needs some love. <laughs> Funny shower. So what we're gonna do is, because this is so small, we're going to push that tub back um, into the next bedroom. So take up some of that closet. It's right in here, over here. So we'll lose some of that closet, rework this closet in this first floor bedroom. It's really a pretty good sized bedroom. Come back down this way into the basement. I don't know where the light switches are yet. <laughs> so we're going to rework these stairs. We're still trying to decide um, how exactly. Well, it looks like a horror movie down here. Flickering light. <laughs> the stairs don't have enough headroom there, so I, like I had to crouch and any grown adult is gonna hit their head on the way down that. So we've been trying to decide if we wanted to take out the closet that's just above here, and that front door will move over. But we're trying to decide if we want to bring the stairs down this way, the way that they're coming now, lose that closet, but then we would also have to move the wall that's upstairs a little bit further in, which would then take up some of the living room space that's upstairs, so that's not ideal. So the other idea that we have is to take the stairs from over here, bring them down, and then use all of this space to bring the stairs down that way. So this would make um, there be like a little opening upstairs in that living room to begin the stairs. Uh, whether it's a door or if we leave it like a complete open, like a hand railing, and the stairs are just open coming down into it. But either way, that front door has to move over um, and we'll figure that out so that we can get stairs down here. And then down here, we're going to sneak in two more bedrooms. So that's the door out the back. And then over here, we can get another bedroom. It looks really scary down here right now, but just wait and see, see what we do. 
This is where the washer and dryer were, so they'll probably still stay in this general vicinity, but depending on how we work the stairs, if we move the water tank over there underneath the stairs, or what we're gonna do here exactly, but over here is the other bedroom. So this will be a second bedroom. Ooh, hitting my head on something. It's probably a spider web involved. <laughs> so we're gonna have to replace the windows down here to make egress. But this back door just walks out. There's not really a backyard, it sort of drops off. It's the woods, but it's still pretty. Pretty little view. Nate wanted to go exploring. See him out there. <laughs> so yeah. Nice little wooded lot in the back. Just enough room to kind of walk around the house, but I'll walk back this way. I wanted to show you something I found this morning. It's always really neat when you find like evidence <laughs> of the life that was here before. I think this says Rachel Helen. I don't know if that was her middle name or if it's two different people, but I just think that's pretty neat. So yeah, we are super excited to get started. Like I said, I mowed the lawn this morning. Doesn't that look beautiful? And yeah, we were just talking about siding colors. There's a lot of like beige and white going on around. So I was trying to think of if we could do something a little bit more, more fun, more of a pop. If nothing else, I want to do like a pop of a front, front door color. But like I said, that front door is going to move over. We'll probably either have to lose this window or move it and make it smaller or we'll see. But either way, this door is going to come farther over this way, and I think we're going to build a little um, doghouse over the top of it, um, just to give it a little bit more interest on the front here. But as far as functionally, I think this is the door that really makes the most sense to use. But for egress purposes, we have to have the two doors, so we'll make that look pretty up in the front, but I think it'll be more of a... Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Just aesthetic. To make the front of the house look pretty. So yeah, there she is. Uh, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on what we're doing with her. <laughs> 